Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today on Fitness with Jen Allen. We're going to work on some interval training today. Some heavy lifting, optional to have a BOSU. Everything that's done on the BOSU can also be done on the ground. So, gather your equipment, make sure you've got some options for weights. I'm going to lift with 15s and I've got 10s. I've got the BOSU and some floor space around me so that you're really safe. And then let's get started with the warm up. Start to march it out. We are going to do a sequence of intervals that are mixed intervals. Sometimes you're going to be working for 20 seconds at a time and then 10 second rest. Sometimes 30 seconds at a time and 15 second rest. And other times you're going to be working for 50 seconds with a 10 second rest. The whole combination is about 15 and a half minutes. Start to tap your BOSU with a one pro at a time. If you don't have a BOSU, tap the floor. The entire sequence will 15 and a half minutes. Then we're gonna repeat it a second time. Once you know the moves, you come back to it and do it another time, muscle memory kicks in, you'll be much, much better at every move that you do. Roll those shoulders up, up, up. Now take your taps out to the side. Tap, reach across. Full body workout, a little bit of cardio, a little bit of strength, core stability. You've got your balance work in here as well if you're using the bow suit. Now reach up high, up. Again, make sure you've got lots of space around you. Take it into a squat here. Reach forward, lift up. Reach forward and lift up. Now pulse those squats down nice and low. Warming up those legs, but now warm up your toes and feet, ankles and calves. Again, everything I do on the BOSU, I'll give you an option for the floor, so if you don't own a BOSU, everything can be done on the ground. Now lift your heels up and press them down. Good, a couple more. March it out again. Lift your knees up high, reach it up. Take the elbow and cross it over to the knee, cross. Step wide, swing it out. Now take those heels back here. We're gonna start in just a couple of seconds with our first interval. You'll be doing some jumping jacks. 20 seconds long, 10 second recovery. Jumping jacks can be done on and off the BOSU or on the floor. In 10 seconds, you start your jumping jacks. Remember, it's 20 seconds of effort to a 10 second recovery. Get ready, get set, start your jumping jacks now. So those jumping jacks again can be using the BOSU or the floor. Halfway there, 10 seconds more. Five more, and rest for 10. Next move is a pike and a plank. Can be done with the BOSU or floor. You'll be lifting your hips and then plank. In three, two, one, begin. Back and forth from pike to plank. And again, you're working at your own pace, your own level of intensity, but only 20 seconds of effort. Halfway. Five more seconds. And recover for 10. The next move is a butt kicker run. So heels going back can be done on floor or bosu. Ready for 20 seconds, begin. Get on the floor or bosu. Five seconds more. And recover for 10, good. Last move on the 2010s is a, a soldier kick. In three seconds, two, one, ready, begin. Kick and reach across, soldier kicks. 20 seconds of effort. 
Now when this one's over, you're gonna get a 10 second recovery, and then we're gonna go into a 30 second effort with a 15 second recovery. Good, you have five more seconds. Quick recovery, sit down, grab some weights for some shoulder presses. Alternating overhead presses, one arm at a time. Ready, begin. So if you don't have a bow suit to sit on, do it standing. 30 seconds on this one. And you're halfway with 15 seconds more. Five seconds to go. You will get a 15 second recovery and finish their recover. Stand yourself up. Wide plie squat, when it's time to go, it's a wide plie squat deadlift. So pick up a pair of hand weights that are a little bit heavy, get into your squat, we go in three, three seconds. From here, hinge forward and pull back up. You've got 30 seconds to do this move. A wide deadlift. Good, halfway there. Three more seconds. Two, one. 15 second recovery using weights for the next move. And a combination of row and fly. If you'd like a little more challenge, step up on the bow suit. You can do it on the floor or the bow suit. In three seconds, bend forward. Alternate between a row and a fly. 15 seconds of effort. Halfway, 15 seconds to go. Five more. And recover for 15 using one weight. A rear lunge can be done on the floor as you push your weight forward and tap back. This can also be done on the bow suit. Bring the weight to your chest and for 30 seconds push the weight forward as you tap the toe back. So there's an element of balance if you're on the bow suit. There's still even an element of balance when you're on the floor halfway. Last five. Good, with a 15 second recovery, pick up a pair of hand weights that you can use for shoulders. You're gonna squeeze elbows and then overhead press. For 30 seconds, go. Elbows and overhead press. Remember, if you have something that you don't feel is exactly the right weight for you, you can always manipulate the time, slower or faster. Halfway. Three more seconds. Now our last move for 30 seconds, go ahead and recover, is a goblet squat. This can be done again on the floor or up on the bow suit, holding your weight and then going into some deep squats. Okay, still recovering for a few more seconds. For the next 30 seconds, begin those goblet squats. That's halfway. Now our next set of exercises are gonna be 2010 again, and we'll be working really quickly. You may recover for 15 seconds. Next exercise, a squat bicep overhead press. Can be done on floor or go to, but wherever you choose. Be ready to go in three, two, squat first. Bicep overhead press, only 20 seconds on this one. 
So this is going to come at you pretty fast. Now we get to repeat these sequences again, and you're going to have a better understanding of what you need as far as your weights, how to push yourself, as far as pacing. You're almost there. Three, two, one, rest. Next move for 20 seconds. And a plank, touching one shoulder to the other. Ready? Go. 20 seconds. See how quick that recovery is? Moves you along really quickly. In fact, you're only five seconds away from the next recovery. Three, two, one, rest. The next move is no weight at all. Three squats and then a jump. You can do this on floor of Osu. Ready? Go. Three squats and then a jump. Only 20 seconds long. So get right to work. Doesn't matter how many you do in the time. Do them with good quality and good form. <laughs> Got a couple more, and rest. Good, seated, one weight, lean back for abdominals, twist and lift. Alternate sides, here we go, 20 seconds, twist and lift. Twist and lift. So quick, 20 seconds comes so fast, that you're already almost done in three, Two, whatever you got, finish it, stand up to recover. No weights. This is an alternating toe touch, toe touch, jump, either on BOSU or floor. Ready, go, 20 seconds. Low taps, high jump. Low taps, high jump. Floor BOSU, halfway. seconds. Rest. Plank uh, jumping jacks. Using floor of Osu for hands. 20 seconds. Begin now. Halfway. Five seconds to go. Engage and brace that belly. Sit down on the BOSU, no equipment. This can be undone on a mat or the floor. Lean back, alternate high kicks to a V. So abs are engaged, arms out. Ready, floor or BOSU, go. I guess you could always use a step for this workout as well. Or again, everything can be done on the ground. Five more seconds, that's all. We're gonna do one more exercise of 20 seconds rest. It's a power ski. If you'd like, you could do one foot on no suit and power ski. Ready? For 20 seconds, begin now. So we've got all those cardio skills in there. Agility, balance, coordination, power, quick reaction, and speed. Stop. Okay, 50 seconds on the next exercise. Two weights in your hand. Deadlift with one kick back and then alternate sides. Do this one on the floor. Here we go, 50 seconds. Okay, this is our longest set. Meaning, you're working for 50 seconds. The longest you've been working has been 30. So pacing it a little different, using good form, Focus on balance, stability, use your hamstring to pull you back up, use your back. Ten more seconds. We've got four more moves and our whole series is over. All of these moves are 50 seconds long, you're three away, two, and one. One leg in your hand. Out to the side, circle over, and then out to the other side. For 50 seconds in three, two, one. Swing out, circle. 
step out to lunge, and circle. This circle can go across the chest or up and over your head. You know, you've got 50 seconds, that's almost a whole minute, with only a 10 second rest. Halfway, that's 25 seconds. Now, you don't have a long recovery to reset the next exercise. The next exercise could be some shoulders. You may want a little lighter weight if you have the option. Five more seconds. Three, two, rest. Pick up two weights. Your arms are gonna go into the L shape, position changing sides. For 50 seconds, ready, begin. So one arm goes forward, one arm goes side, alternating between the two. Shoulders, a little trickier. You always could step on the bow super balance check on this one. I would rather you be really safe and stable. But if you're ready, get on that bow suit, do the same move. Halfway. Twenty more seconds. Remember, it doesn't matter how many, just that you keep moving through the interval work set. Ten more seconds. Here we go, last five. Whatever you got, finish it and rest. Okay, we're gonna go into bicep curls with a forward lunge. You do this on floor or BOSU, alternate legs. Ready for 50 seconds. Alternate a lunge. Stepping forward, either onto a platform, a BOSU, a step, or just the floor. Bicep curls, hammer position. This is our second to last exercise of the series. You're gonna get a quick recovery, and then we're gonna repeat them all over one more time. Second time is always better. The more you know, the more empowered you are in your workout. So if you get to repeat something you've already done, you know more about what you need and how to work. Almost there. Five more seconds, and then one final exercise. Rest, no equipment, but either the floor or the bow suit. You're gonna jump in, come up, and back. You want a little more challenge? Do it on your toes rather than your feet. Here we go, last 50 seconds. Push off, push off, push off. Notice how I'm staying low when I come up. Again, this can be done on a step or the floor. You got it. Halfway. Now when this ends, you're gonna get about 40 seconds to reset your equipment and start it all over again. Finish strong. Ten more seconds. Go all the way through to the very end until I say stop. Five more. Three, two, wherever you are, recover. Reset your equipment. We've got 15 and a half more minutes of exactly what you've already done. Get your weight somewhere close that you can grab them quick. Grab some water if you have it close by, because in 30 seconds we begin again. We start with jumping jacks. 20, 10 is the work. The work. Take some deep breaths. Reset, make sure you have what you need. In 15 seconds, you start those jacks. Again, those jacks can be done on the ground, or they can be done on and off a step or a BOSU. Five seconds and we begin. Whether you choose the floor or the BOSU or the step, jumping jacks, 20 seconds, go. Five seconds more. Recover. Next move, hike, hips up, drop hips to plank. You do as many as you feel like you can in 20 seconds. Be ready in three, two, one. Hands either on step or floor. 
or bow scene. 20 seconds. Halfway, 10 to go. Recover for 10. The next move is the butt kickers, the heel back. You can do these jogging on a step, both two or floor. I'm going to do these on the floor this time. Ready, go. 20 seconds. So all these options. I don't even have to get on that bow suit. Five. Rest for 10. Last 20 second move is the soldier kicks. You could probably do these on both suit too if you'd like to try, or on the floor. Reaching out to a straight leg kick. Ready, 20 seconds, go. This is our last 20 second move, and then we go into our 30 second 15 recovery. You got it, five more seconds. Quick recovery, stop. Alternating overhead presses can be done standing or seated, whether you're on a step or a bow suit, or standing, arms ready for shoulder presses. Alternate sides, you've got 30 seconds. So all of these efforts now are 30 seconds with a 15 second rest. So work is 10 seconds longer, recovery is five seconds longer than what you've just done. Five more seconds. And rest. With some heavy weights, if you have options, a wide squat position, toes turned out, like arms in front. All you do on this one is hinge as if you're gonna put them on the floor and stand back up. Keeping the legs bent, you still have a five second recovery. You go for 30, ready, good form, go. So you're gonna put those weights on the floor. Keep your back nice and straight, your chin lifted without dropping your head. This is a great abdominal exercise. Five more seconds. Two, rest. Alternating between a row and a fly. It can also be done standing on top of the bow suit for this one. I think I'm gonna go here this time. You can always mix it up. Bending forward and go. 30 seconds. Bend over row and fly. Feet on floor, step, or bow suit. Definitely adds a good balance challenge on the bow suit. Halfway, 15 seconds to go. But if it's too much, put your feet on the ground. Be solid and strong with whatever you choose to do. Five more seconds. Rest for 15. You'll need one weight on this one as you push the weight forward and alternate toes back. So if you're on the floor, it's a press and a toe tap. If you're on the step or bow suit, it's off the back. Ready? 30 seconds, go. So again, those skills of cardio, ABCs, agility, balance, coordination. QR, PQRS, power, quick reaction, speed. Try to find elements of all of those. 10 more seconds. Rest. Shoulders open in a goal post. Squeeze elbows together and then press overhead. So it's going to look like this. Again, you could stand on top of the most of your step or just on the floor. For 30 seconds, arms up. Ready? Go. Squeeze elbows, push up. 30 second move. Five more seconds. 15 second recovery in three, two, rest. 
goblet squats. So your hands are going to be cupped on a goblet, squats either on or off step or bow suit. You're still in recovery. For 30 seconds. Prepare, ready, set, begin. Goblet squats for 30. Now our next set of exercises, there's eight that we're going to work 20 seconds to 10 off. A really quick reaction to those moves. Halfway through this one. Five more seconds and we recover. Rest, 15 seconds. Next move, weights. Squat, bicep, overhead press. You only have 20 seconds to do this. Can be done on floor or bow suit. Ready, squat, bicep, overhead press, go. 20 seconds, so quick. Halfway already. Last five, so I've got those 15 pounders in my hand. You may be able to go a little faster than me. Depending on what you have, rest. Plank and shoulders. So don't ever compare your speed. Maybe you like to go real slow. Here we go. Touch shoulders. This can be done on floor step or go soon. This one's over with in five more seconds. With a very quick recovery, stand up. Three squats and then one big jump. Floor or go to our step. 20 seconds, go. Three, and then a big jump. Make sure you stick that landing if you're on the BOSU. Really focus on the squats. Five seconds more. Stop, sit down. One hand weight in your hand. A Russian twist with a press up. So you have one of each and a press up. Ready, go. 20 seconds, make sure you lean back. Get those abdominals, shoulders, obliques. And recover. No weights. Rear taps two times and then low taps and then a big jump up. Floor bosu, go. Two taps and then a jump. Hands on floor or stem or bosu. Feet back, jumping jacks. Begin, 20 seconds. Woo. So by the time we are finished, minus the warm up cool down, your work is 31 minutes long with the work and rest rest. Sit down, either on a mat, floor, or bosu. You're going to lean back and alternate a V up with one leg across, reach and go. 20 seconds. Lean back. Feel those abs. Get the tailbone under. Alternate the V leg kick. Halfway. Now we have one more exercise. It's 20 seconds. Then we go into the last set of 50 second exercise. Almost a minute long. And rest. Cross-country ski with power can be done on floor or one foot on both suit. 20 seconds, go. So remember, after this, we have 50 second moves. There's five of them, but when it's over, you're done. Five more seconds. There's power right there. Push, rest. Okay, get ready for the last set. Two hand weights. As you lean forward, you kick back. So it's a deadlift, Romanian deadlift, alternate legs. 
Ready? 50 seconds. Go. Balance. Control. Quality over quantity. Good form over speed and sloppiness. We're down to our last five minutes of the workout. Five exercises. 50 seconds long. 10 second recovery between them. Then we go down. 20 seconds to go on this one. The longest efforts at the end. Really test your strength, especially when you're tired and wobbly. Five more seconds. Rest. Okay, this one's gonna swing out into a side lunge. I'm gonna circle into the middle and step out to the other side. This one's on the floor. 50 seconds. Go. So remember, it can go just across the chest. It can be all the way up over your head. It can be a really heavy weight or a lighter one, maybe moving a little faster or slow and steady, strong. Not everything has to be fast and aggressive cardio. Find the strength and the core. You're halfway with 25 seconds more. Only three exercises to go. Five more seconds here. The next one's shoulders. In an L-shaped position, I'm gonna go for my lighter weight. One arm goes forward, one arm goes side, and then it alternates, it will look like an L. Ready for 50 seconds. Go. This is gonna be hard. Shoulders are tired. Doesn't need to be fast. Try to keep moving the best you can. Definitely be done on top of the step or both super balance. Work here. You're halfway. Two exercises to go. Now in our class, I actually taught this this morning. I did it three times. So with a warm up and a cool down, it took about an hour. Doing just two sets on this one takes about 31 minutes for the actual workout with a warm up and a cool down there. And rest. Okay, set your weights down. Bicep curls into a forward lunge. So choose your weight, choose where you want to place your foot, whether it be floor or bosu, and begin. Biceps to forward lunges. Again, you're going heavy. Make sure you're solid, strong, doesn't have to be fast. If you are going faster, even with lighter, always in control. Know where you step. Know where you plant the foot. Halfway. Guess what? You have one exercise left when this one's over. And then you're done. Unless you want to repeat one more time. Five more seconds. Rest. Okay. The last move of the day. Jump out, jump in, push off and down. So you don't come up all the way, you push off, you can be on your toes or your heels. Go, 50 seconds. Now if you lift those heels, you're gonna feel quadriceps. Drop the heels, you're gonna feel it more in the glutes and hamstrings. This also gets a little bit of calf muscle. Pushes off the tricep chest. Of course, a little shoulder. Halfway. We got this. 20 seconds and we cool down. Whew. Almost there. Let's see if we can get all the way to the finish line without quitting. Five more seconds. Count me down. Three, two, one. You got it. 31 minute actual work. Take your shoulders roll up, up, 
deep breath in to slow down the heart rate and the breathing. Reach the right arm up over your head. Up. Lift back up. Take the left arm up over the head. Kind of slow you down. Take the hands behind your back. Open the chest. Lengthen through your bicep muscle. Lift the chin. Take the hands above your head, interlock the fingers. Reach them forward and place the hand palms together, dropping the chin forward. So you should feel that across the back of your shoulders. Like you're swinging a baseball bat, swing to the right. Pull. Feel that tricep, shoulder, and swing the other direction. Now, from this side approach, come up over the top of your head to a side bend. Lift up and over to the other side bend. Come down and place your hands on your thighs. Push the chin forward and the hips back. So your back is pretty straight here. Round under and curve. Reach down and touch the floor. Keep your knees a little bit soft. Walk your hands forward, walk the feet back a little and push one heel down. Switch, stretching out the calf, both heels up, bend both knees, keep your hips high, heels high, head between the arms, stretch through the shoulders and back, the feet, the ankles, the arches of your foot. Walk your hands and feet together, roll up slowly. Roll the shoulders back, find your posture and your balance. Take one foot back behind you, grab hold of it. Quadricep, the key to quadricep stretch is pushing down, not up. Get a little more of your chest shoulder, a little longer stretch for the quadricep. Release your foot, switch sides. As you pull it up, push down. Feel that stretch in your arm and the front of your quad. A very quick, effective, Workout can be done with weights only. A step or a bosu gets pretty much the whole body pretty quickly, including heart rate. Bring the feet apart, take a big deep breath in, big exhale, and go have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you felt good and strong. Come back and do it again sometime soon.